Hello, hello! This is Isaiah Ramos here at La Siena in Edinburgh, Texas. We're going to be checking out this new construction home. It has already been purchased, but it's currently being used as a model home. But before we even begin the tour, first and foremost, God bless you all. I'm looking forward to showcasing you a Tuscany inspired home. Everything that you see about it is standard. And this is away from the luxury space. It is a nice, warm, and welcoming home, Mediterranean styled, and so forth. Built by McKinney Glen Homes, a reputable builder here in the Rio Grande Valley. And this is a community. They do have a few lots out here. And if you want further details regarding the pricing, please look at the description. But without further ado, let's get started. So beautiful. Of course, with a, every Mediterranean home, you're gonna have the stucco with the contrast stone accented throughout the facade of the home. And in case you guys didn't know, the facade of the home is what faces the street. And this particular community does have a community pool and it is privately gated. I believe the HOA is about $23 a month. And look at that sign, it's pretty cool. Jesus Christ is alive and is coming back soon. Repent and trust him. That is a great sign. Wow. So this one does sit on a corner lot. Now, not every lot will be a corner lot. The builder does own a few lots here. So it's very, very nice. A little community. And as you can tell, this builder builds all around here. There's other builders as well, but more modern. But check out these Mediterranean-esque accents throughout the facade or exterior of the home. A nice little black fixture as well. And a huge front door. With solid wood, you guys. Very nice. And then we got the entrance. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. And of course, you get the nice open great room with lots of natural light. This is a nice little staircase. Of course, that's gonna be the uh, engineered vinyl wood. And then you got the railing with the metal baluster as well to just kind of give it that continuous metal flow from the exterior also to the interior as well. Look at that. So set up your TV right there. You got your two niches, your console and tall ceilings y'all now i think this is about six of me <laughs> i'm five feet four inches maybe i'm exaggerating it's probably about 20 some feet don't know the exact height but it's a very tall ceiling as of course should be expected in a two-story home lots of natural light i love that about this home and then right behind me is the kitchen like I said, it's away from the luxury space, so not that fancy dandy, you know, quartz countertops. Here you got the, the granite countertop, stainless steel uh, sink. You got the cooktop, and then of course, these homes do come equipped with a microwave and oven combo. These cabinets are all custom with crown molding at the very top, along with the range hood over the cooktop. You got your coffee bar right over there. Nice flushed cabinetry along with some handles. And then you got your pantry over here. Look at that. You got your wooden shelving. And then you got your Mediterranean-esque uh, backsplash. Now, whenever you do pick out one of their lots, you're going to go into their design room to pick out the uh, designs in the home. So they have different kinds of tiles. This is what be, would be a standard tile. But it's nice. It's throughout the entire base floor because the second floor is vinyl wood. Now here, this would be the formal dining area. Nice stainless steel fixture. You got your windows and you will see that there's a lot of them in here. Now we're back at the great room. 
Of course, the backyard needs a bit of trimming, which I think they will do. Um, and then over here, this is the little area that connects you to the master bedroom. Now, what I do love about this particular floor plan is that these homes are whew, huge. And I am not exaggerating. I mean, this is gotta be, you know, 11 feet wide. I don't know the exact dimensions, but I mean, just a little bit over two of me can fit that along with this wall over here. And then you got your tray ceiling or coffered ceiling with recessed lighting, along with some niches within it. Um, not that, you know, you'll, you, you'll be using that space, but who knows, you know, you let your creative imagination run wild in your own home. And so, this is a different angle, but definitely ample room to set up your bed. Could be on this wall. You could be on that wall too, or heck, you could set up your bed over there too if you wanted to, but you get the TV connection there. So ideally you'd want to set up your bed here and here, and then set up your TV over there. Lots of vents. You got your carbon monoxide and smoke alarm there. And then over here, this is the master bathroom. Lots of countertop space, double vanity, lots of cabinet, and a giant mirror. Immediately to my right is going to be the private commode. So you got your toilet with a little privacy, of course. You got your full tub over here. You got tile all throughout. And then you got this walk-in shower. You got your gorgeous little niche along with tile all throughout there. And then you got the space over here. You know, you guys tell me, how would you use the space? Would you set up like a nice little chair? Of course, you got your towel there. And then of course you have to be concerned about opening and closing this without any interference. But a nice little, you know, nuke to have ample room to do what you want. Now, you got this huge walk-in closet. I say huge because a standard closet is about up to here, at least from what I see in a lot of homes, unfortunately. Wooden shelving, wooden racks, pretty nice. You got your cubbies, you got your baseboards, which by the way have some detail, nice little detail. And then now we can head out over here. Woo and now we're back at the main area. I don't think I gave you guys this point of view yet, but what a nice view. You know, imagine being in the master bedroom, you step out and this is your view. I think that's a nice view to have, in my opinion. And then over here, you're gonna have your AC closet. You get your ring shine right there. And then train, that's the company. And then over here, you're gonna have the uh, closet or the utility room. And then just as we're about to step out into the backyard, um, before we do that, of course, we always check out the uh, garage. And then you got this <laughs> uh, powder room right at the base floor. So that'll be great. You know, you have a party going on, a carne asada with your family and friends. They have a powder room, which is just a quick use of restroom. So you usually just have a toilet and uh, a mirror and so forth. So it's the staircase here. You get the wooden railing on contrasted with metal as well. They call that the metal baluster railing. More of that here. And so where do we begin? Let's go over here. Got this bedroom over here. And then look at that little transition. Pretty nice little rubber transition into the tile. You got the full bathroom. You got the extractor, of course. It works. You got your niche tub shower combo. Nice to have. And then you got this closet. Wow. And then you're gonna go over here. 
You got your other AC closet, which we'll check out on the way down. You got a bedroom over here. You got a Jack and Jill. Not your standard closet space. This is, you can actually walk inside and have some space in there. You got your base cabinets, granite countertop. And then you have your full bathroom, tub shower combo, your little toilet. And then you got a connection over here to the final upstairs bedroom. And then you got this wooden shelving, wooden racks. Pretty nice. Now the benefit to this builder is that you get a 210 warranty. So that's a third party warranty that does end up coming with every property you purchase from them. And it's always a benefit to the client. And actually before I go down, let's check out this view. I can only imagine the kids looking up from up here. I mean, looking down from up here. Um, that's definitely something I enjoy doing whenever I was a kid and I stood up on the second floor. I like looking down and I'm like, whoa, this feels huge. But yes, these homes come with a 210 warranty, which is a third party warranty. And it covers a lot of the uh, important stuff, which is more structural. You know, so structure the home and foundation, and uh, which is always important. And then, of course, this is a two-car garage, but this is a little plus. Look at that. Extra storage space. Now, I'm all over spiderwebs right now, and I'm doing this for y'all, so hopefully I don't die. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Okay, I don't think I'll die. Hopefully not. Um, but nice little storage area to have. You have your garage motor there, your sprinkler system, your breaker, and then your water boiler. And then you got the uh, actual button for the garage door. So now we'll step in here. We saw the utility room earlier. And by the way, I forgot to point this out. Your security system is usually in the utility room or in the master closet room. And I'll be turning off the lights as I kind of make our way out. But this builder does have this, um, uh, has those own multiple lots. So the price that you see on the title for this home plus the, uh, the lot price. So lot prices range, unless you already own your own lot, then you would build this home on your lot for the price in the title. And then uh, if you don't own your lot, it'll be just a little bit of a different process. You're gonna have to account for both the lot and the house price. But nice, beautiful builder. Now back here, they do need to trim it a bit, but uh, from per experience representing uh, this builder and clients who do buy from this builder, uh, no really big issues at all, at least any complaints. They've been building for about 15 plus years, and I think that's important. Of course, you as a consumer, you want to do your due diligence before you buy a product. Are you building with a reputable builder, or do you foresee having any issues in the future, etc., etc., etc. And so that's all important, and should be accounted for as you're in the market to make a purchase but at the end of the day get yourself a good realtor who's going to assist you in your local area whether it be here in the rgv of course i would be here and my uncle would be here to assist you but if it's at a different area do your due diligence and uh make sure that you you have somebody that's going to look out for your best interest especially as a consumer or buyer in the market whether it be to buy single family residential home, fourplex, or maybe you're looking for an investment. Regardless, God bless you all. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tour. It's something different. Um, again, not your super ultra luxury house that you always see with quartz countertops and <laughs> so many things. I think we need a kind of normalize, you know, um, these homes. And I think that's important 
But I think the most important thing is God bless you all. Thank you for always constantly supporting me, subscribing, sharing with your family and friends and just showing so much love, you know, and, and God bless you all. And uh, if you guys ever need like a little prayer, just comment down below and I'm more than willing to respond and do a little prayer for y'all. And again, God bless you all. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.